Hi guys, welcome to today's crochet tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make this extremely beginner friendly chunky crochet hat. It's perfect for a Christmas present for you for the winter and easily customizable for any size. I made this variation with yarn from Darn Good Yarn and I love the multiple textures and colors and fuzzies. I think it's so cute. This project doesn't take very much time or yarn. It's the perfect beginner project. So go grab your supplies and let's make a hat. All that you're going to need for this project is size 5 chunky yarn. You're going to need about 80 yards. I have a 9mm hook and some scissors and you'll also need a tapestry needle to weave in your ends. We're going to start off with a magic circle. We have the short end of our yarn here and the long end here. I'm just draping it over three of my fingers, crossing the long end over like this. So the short end here and we have a little X on our fingers like that. Now we're going to take our needle Go right under this first loop, grab this one here, twist it and pull it up, and then we are going to chain two. One, two. And now we are going to put eight double crochets into our magic ring. and eight. And now we're going to pull the tail of our magic ring so we can close that circle. And then that first chain two that we made, it never counts as a stitch. So we're just going to ignore that chain two and we are going to do a slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet of our row. Do a little slip stitch just like that. And then we're going to chain two again. And in that same stitch that we slip stitched into right here, we are going to do two double crochets. One and two. We are doing an increase in every single stitch now. So we have eight stitches here and now by the end we'll have 16 because we're gonna put two double crochets in every single stitch. Three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So here's what we have so far. And now again, we're going to slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet of the row. Slip stitch right there. And then we're going to chain two again and we are going to put one double crochet into that same stitch as the chain two. And then in the next one, we are going to do our increase. Then in the next stitch, we're just going to do one double crochet. And in the next, we're going to do an increase. So we are increasing in every other stitch. So this stitch was an increase, so this stitch won't be. Just one stitch, the next one will have an increase. and the next won't, and so on and so forth. And then I'm just going to continue with doing an increase in every other stitch until I reach the end. And now you should always end on an increase stitch. And if you don't, just go back and check your row and make sure that you counted everything right. 
So now I'm just slip stitching into the top of the first double crochet. Now I'm chaining two again, and then I'm putting one double crochet in that same stitch. And now in the next stitch, I'm putting another double crochet. And then in the next stitch, I'm putting two double crochets. So we're having two normal stitches in between every single increase in this row. Double crochet, another double crochet, and then an increase. And then I'm just going to continue this until the end of the row. reach my final stitch and before I slip stitch into my first double crochet um, this now I'm gonna stop increasing for my head size but if you need to increase a little more for your head size then what you'll need to do is for the next row you're just going to slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet just like normal and then you're going to have instead of two stitches in between every increase you're going to have three and if you also need to make this bigger again then for the next row you'll have four stitches in between every single increase so for the first row we had our normal eight double crochets then we increased in every stitch and then in the next one we increased in every other stitch and now for this row we increased um and we had two in between every increase so then just if you need to increase again, just to make this hat a little bit bigger for your head size or whoever you're making it for, then you can go ahead and do three stitches in between every increase and then in the next four in between every increase. So that is just basically how you do it. But I found that this size fits me rather well. So I'm going to go with this size. And now I'm going to do my slip stitch into the top of my first double crochet. And I'm going to chain two. And now I'm going to do the same exact row for every single row going forward now. So I'm now putting just one double crochet in every single stitch. So in my first stitch that I slip stitched into, we're adding our double crochet because our chain two does not count as a double crochet. And we are now just putting one singular double crochet in every stitch until you reach the length of the hat that you want. And that is literally all there is to it. It's such a simple pattern and so easy to make and so fast. I can make these in a little over a half hour and have an adorable hat. I've made one for my husband, I've made one for my mom and my three-year-old and myself. And it's just so much fun, so easy to whip up. So just one double crochet now in every single stitch until you reach the end. And I'll show you how to finish it off at the end. Um, but you go ahead and put one double crochet in every stitch then once you reach the beginning here you go ahead and slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet and then you chain two and do now again repeating one double crochet in every single stitch and it's that easy it's that simple and it's so fast and super fun so I'll see you once we're both done and we can finish our hats together Okay, so I finished my final row of my hat, and now I'm just going to slip stitch into the first double crochet of the row. Then I'm going to chain one, cut my yarn, pull out my hook, and tighten. 
And there you have the easiest chunky crocheted winter hat. And it took me like a half hour to make this one. And all I did was do my four rows of increasing. So one, two, three, four. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows of just one double crochet in every single stitch. And of course, if you need to make this bigger, if you need to make it smaller, and if you need to make it bigger, you can just do three double crochets in between every increase for the next row, then four and so on, and then you can just remove rows of increasing if you need to make it smaller. Also, you might not need as long of a length as I have here. You might need yours a row shorter, you might need it longer. Um, so you just definitely try it on and be like, I think I need another row, or I think I didn't need this row, and then you can always frog it before you end it, but definitely try it on um, as you go, make sure it fits you, and that is literally all you do. It's such a cute Christmas present even, and so fast and so simple, doesn't even require much yarn, and it is a beautiful result. So I'm gonna go ahead and weave in my ends, and then I'm gonna go and wear this because it's like 29 degrees today, so I definitely need this. Um, but I hope you guys really love this tutorial. Let me know if you tried it and found it as easy as I did, and I hope you guys have the most beautiful day and a beautiful winter in your nice, cozy, chunky hats.